Welcome to another episode of Did You Know That in Black History, where we stick to facts and get real stuff. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about Ruby Bridges. Ruby Bridges was born in 1954, the same year as Brown vs. Board of Education, which ended segregation in the schools. Did you know that at the age of six, she was the first black student to integrate at an elementary school in the South? Southern states did not want to integrate school. And at 1959, Ruby Bridges was going to a segregated school. But a year later, the Supreme Court made Louisiana desegregate. Desegregate. The school district gave every black student an entrance exam. They wanted to see if black students could compete with white students. Ruby Bridges and five other students had the exam. Ruby Bridges ended up going to her school alone. Sending your child to a school that they were not wanted was not an easy choice. Ruby parents wanted her to have the opportunity that they did not. She walked past crowds protesting and screaming racist things. There were even kids holding up signs that said, All I want for Christmas is a clean white school. A white woman had a black baby doll in a coffin. This scared me, but on she went. Ruby Bridges spent the first year in class alone. Only one white teacher accepted her as a student. Her family suffered. Her dad lost his job. Her mother couldn't get groceries from the grocery store. Even her shared proper grandparents were evicted from the farm that they had lived on for 25 years. Still alive today. And that's it for this episode.